What's going on, fellow MLG Call of Duty Elite Gaming Stud Muffins? It's eight thoughts here. Call of Duty Warzone is the big swing and ah. on the block right now for the Battle Royale. Everybody's loving it more or less. I've made a couple videos on it. First video was I really like this game. Second video was kind of a troll. I don't know if people picked that up a bit. You know, I used the title of the video as a top rated comment on my previous video talking about how after 24 to 48 hours, I'm not going to like the game anymore. And I kind of did and kind of didn't like the game anymore, but I've been playing it more and more because honestly, what else are we going to do? We're all freaking quarantined right now. Not a whole lot going on. We're hanging out. So I figured I'd play some Warzone. And in this video, I would like to give some input and advice to Infinity Ward on how not to ruin this game and basically dry up like your grandma's and I'm, I'm afraid that developers are going to make the same mistake as Respawn did with Apex Legends. Like, don't get me wrong, Apex Legends is awesome. Uh, it's one of my favorite battle royales. I've been playing the hell out of it until this Warzone came out, and now I'm playing Warzone more than Apex Legends just because, of course, it's something new. But I don't want the developers in Infinity Ward, the bumbling morons that they are, let's just keep it real. First of all, first of all, in Warzone, I, I, I think it's coming. It needs to come. They need to put solos and duos in the game. Like, come on, man. Like, they, they, I like playing this game, but I don't like playing with squads. I like to play by myself. I don't even like to run with friends, to be honest. I just like to play on my own terms, do what I want to do, be the lone wolf that I am, and just play the game by myself as a single-player battle royale. I'm enjoying it, but they need to put solos in it and not make the same mistakes that the dummies over at Respawn have sort of done with Apex Legends. Like, I know Apex Legends is even more so of a game that really is predicated upon teamwork with the heroes and stuff, so I can kind of see the argument for that, but Warzone is just a military game. There's nothing really in it that would dictate that it needs to be a squad-up kind of game. Like, it, it's a solo experience for sure, easy to do, let's rock out, stop dragging your feet and make it a solo squad, okay? The other things they need to do in this game uh, to make it better and hopefully it doesn't die uh, because it has potential. I'm mean, going to keep it real here. It really does have a lot of potential. It's free to play is the biggest one and that is so easy for everyone to get into then. It's free. So why not? It's free real estate. So the first thing is loadout drop prices need to be increased to like, I don't know, 20 grand, 15 grand, because the loadout is just, you know, it's overpowered, man. You just set up your custom classes, you get a little bit of bucks, you get 6,000 bucks, which ain't that hard to do. You buy the loadout, it drops, boom, you got it. And then you got an overpowered sniper M4 class, and you just can sort of sit in buildings like some of these people do and just snipe and play like absolute pussies. Next thing you need to do is maybe turn the enemy footsteps actually up. I can't believe I'm saying that because Modern Warfare multiplayer, we need to turn them down. But in the actual Battle Royale of Warzone, they need to turn them up a bit. You can't hear Jack. And I, you know what? That's a double-edged sword because they go up too loud. Then it just you know allows for people to sit in a room and camp. So I kind of feel that. I kind of don't feel that. I mean, I might even take that from the list. I might just scratch that out. Let's not even put that in the game because I you know the footsteps are definitely, definitely like, you know, a trigger point for me when it comes to the multiplayer and not having to hear, you know, raging elephants running across the ground in the war zone is kind of good and bad, but maybe just a, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Another thing too, what they need to do is give credit to the person who downs the player. Like if you down the player and someone comes along and just comes and, you know, swipes your kill, they get they get credit for it. Not that it's a big deal, but like it's kind of it kind of is just takes away from the, you know, experience of fun. Like if you down the guy and someone finishes him off, I can't believe like it's twenty twenty, they made a battle royale and the idiots infinity ward give credit to the dude who just comes up and kills a guy dragging his ass across the ground like he's a dog with worms. It's like it's the dude goes in the last chance. Fuck you, last man. And the dude just comes up and no skill required gets the kill. Not cool. Not cool. Another thing too, they need to remove the animation of putting the gas mask on and off. That's just stupid. Not that it does a lot of good, but just take the damn animation of putting the gas mask on and off. Another thing too, when I first started playing the game, before I started getting into it in the meta, I started looking at all the easy weapon drops you get and whatnot. But... It's kind of good having weapons all over the place, having a plethora, having a ton of weapons that you can get and, you know, have it your, at your ready. And then I realized, oh, yeah, you know what? There's quite a few different levels, like the gold gun and then the purple guns and the blue guns and just different levels sort of copying the same color scheme as Fortnite did. So I, I kind of think they need to, like, sort of in some way, you know, tweak the weapons a little bit in a way that, you know, that the drops are a bit different. And the weapon caches you can find, how easy it is to find weapons, it's kind of it kind of takes away the whole looting aspect of, which is kind of one of the fun things about a battle royale is sort of the looting aspect. It's sort of almost like an RPG where you have to loot and find good gear, and that whole kind of meta is sort of null and void from the game, especially with the Lodo. You just get enough money, you go find the store, the supply store, whatever it is, a little box, you find it, open it up, boom, loadout done. 
whole looting and the whole aspect of looting, which is one of the biggest things in a battle royale, let's keep it real, is over. It's gone. And the rest of the game, you sort of have to run around. Another thing, too, I don't know. The gas, in my opinion, needs to move faster. It takes too long sometimes to get into the action. For me, it's really hit and miss, hot or cold. Sometimes you drop and it's just like frenetic and there's people everywhere and it's like, oh, crazy, man. Ah, it's, ah, ooh. And then sometimes you drop and you can run around for like 10 minutes before you even find somebody because the maps are so big and people are, you know, set up and stocked up and just sitting around like a bunch of Call of Duty camping bitches that a lot of people in the community are. And they sort of sit and don't move, and then you don't want to find people. So they need to somehow find a happy-go-lucky medium between you know, the size of the map and how fast the gas uh, drops in and how quickly the game collapses. Because when it comes close to the end game, then the hype kicks in, and then it's like, oh my god, it's like Armageddon out there, and it's just people everywhere for the most part. So the slow part between sometimes the beginning and the end, they need to somehow fix it up to find a more evenly spaced-out action of uh, you know play and gameplay. But overall, man, honestly, if I can keep it real with you guys, it's not that bad. Right now, I give it a 7 out of 10 if I'm going to rank it. It has some things that need to be fixed. It's kind of a diamond in the rough. It needs to be polished. You need to stick it up Joe C. Sutt's butthole and let that stuff sit for a bit and get so tight and wound up as little tight buttocks. And then, you know, it can come out like a diamond. So anyways, that's all. That's the video for today, folks. A little bit of my, uh, my expertise advice for the developers out there who i know for sure listen to me the man the voice of the call of duty community eight thoughts mlg stud muffin himself and uh, hopefully they can you know put this into the game and uh, make the game even better make warzone great er yeah all right anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video my name is eight thoughts appreciate you dudes always and uh, last but not least and most importantly y'all stay black question authority went to honk cracker reptilian shapeshifters bring it down all right, peace. Oh.